What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. Back at my favorite place on earth. Texas coast and we're back with old vehicle. At Stalker Guide Service. We got J-Rod Outlaw. Yep. And we got Captain Trav, Lil Cap, Yee. and Judd. So we're here to put some fish in the boat. We uh Seem to pick all the good weather days. It's misting and foggy, Best but in the bad weather, you know that. Yep. Well, I guess we're gonna go smoke some fish now. So I gotta put the camera up. It's misting and it messes my audio up. So we're gonna do a lot of GoPro footage. But y'all stay tuned, enjoy, and uh, hopefully we put some fish in the box. Look at those pretty pelicans that we all wish we could just do one hunt on. Jerry's over here doing something but we made it to our first destination it's gonna give jared this is jared's first time ever flounder gigging yep. he's been gigging for something else he said but uh rick's gonna give him the rundown and then we're gonna turn the lights on and see if we can't find some flatfish yeah, we're in the back of those seats but just not behind them here we go baby can you see me see me? yeah look What's happening? Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. Get close. Get close. Get close. Get closer. Get closer. Get closer. All in the water. There you go. go. Push through. Push through. It's not through. Down. Just push. You gotta pick it up and move it. And there you go. It's not through. It's not through. Yeah, he's in. All right, you're getting up. There you go. Pick it up. We're on the rocks here. Yeah. Scoop the towards the back. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Now pop them off. Yeah! All right, baby. That's first a good one. one. That's a good one, First too. one in the boat. About a 19-inch flounder. Yeah, that's a good one. Four big beds. See how fresh that is? Yeah, that's a big bed. That, that fish is right around see, here See, it, it looks just like a flounder. You can see the indent of the... That's a fresh bed. Wow. Just kind of help me watch to the left over there. This is the kind of area you get 10 real quick. Yeah. Close. Crossbody. There you go. Push it through next time. You're just barely on there. Okay. All right, three in the boat. He's a big boy. Uh, stud on the Ooh. shell. Ooh. That's a big one. That's big a big boy. Hey, there's another one. Right here. Oh, yeah, there's another one right here. Yeah. Another one right up here. Trying to get plenty. Hang right on. here. See? Oh, he's too small. Hey, or he might be good. What do you think? Get him. Too small? Yeah, just pass on that one. Just yeah. You can tickle him if you what want. What is it, a baby? Just tickle him. Close. He's like right at 15. We're going to let him go. Oh, Looks a little small. Oh yeah. Pass on it. He's 14 and a half. That's real close. Just leave him alone. Normally they don't want to get up. Yes, sir. No, maybe not. No, small. no. That 
one's a keeper. Oh, we forgot a real GoPro. So I forgot good. the GoPro. I did your job, Travis. Oh, okay. And Travis got the small one of the night. GoPro, get your crap together, man. Why does it take so freaking long? Yeah, why, why does it take why five takes seconds? Why so long? <laughs> it's a GoPro, you gotta... It's, it's called GoPro. rabbit I'm mode. Learning, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I'm messing with you, man. God. What is that now? Eight? Yeah, probably eight. I think that's eight. About 30 minutes in. Yeah! Poke him. He's good. Three right there. Woo What's up, Cap? What's up, man? <laughs> Jared's on the go. Oh, I'm Jared's on, the, on the gig, right here. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, he's right, right here. <laughs> oh, dang! Sharpshooter. He going quick. Gig him. Oh, beautiful. Hold on, hold on. Big in. <laughs> Night, right, right, You want to take a break? We're gonna take a break for a minute. We're we just, we slanging them too good. We gotta count fish. We gotta count fish. Guys, we've been out here for like 45 minutes, and we're already counting fish because we gotta see how many we have. So Rick always does a double check on the measurement, which he's never missed once with me, and uh, then we throw them on ice and get whatever's left i think we still have a few more but we like to check them before we like to check them before we uh get that close to the limit so we're allowed 25 per person they have to be 15 inches long and uh we got a bucket full yeah well we got 19 i got one more for us in, in here oh. and there ain't Thanks. no need to measure those those are all jumbos what how was that i lost that's four right there. Four. four. Five. Fifteen. Sixteen. I was right. Yeah. We had seventeen. 17. I'm usually pretty good at keeping count. Three more. Judd and, more. Judd and Jared are splitting them. Thirteen, baby. Oh, we got a or three more. Double stick. Big in. Flounder on the rocks. A little salt. 
see him. There you go. Get Back. Yeah. There you go. Push through. There, there you go. go. Two more. Good. You want it? Okay. Ah, beauty. Beauty. One more. One, one more. more yeah. All right, Judd. Last one, Judd. Let me look around, make sure there's not a bigger one. Don't All right. miss. All right, yeah, we're good. Good. That's the tail. That's the tail. That's the tail. That's the head up oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Higher, higher, higher. Hey, you're. There go. you go. Push. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. All right. Bare handed. All right, Travis. Let's see it. Fooling with flounder. Ninja. Oh! <laughs> that was close. I thought you were going to have them. That was close. All right. We got our pictures. We got our fish. We'll see y'all at the dock, and Rick will show y'all how to clean a flounder the proper way. All right. George Cooney showed up. Go pet him, Jared. Don't run from the Lord. <laughs> Don't run from the Lord. <laughs> All right, back. Oh, okay. Well, on, our audio. We just did a whole recipe for you guys, but the audio wasn't working. But Rick's going to tell you all a new recipe every time we do a trip with Rick. He gives us a new recipe. So here it is. Okay, so I don't know the exact prep on this because my wife kind of came up with it, but it was excellent on flounder. What she made was a lemon cream sauce, kind of like a chicken piccata recipe. You can look up a standard chicken piccata recipe, add some heavy whipping cream is what she did into that. So it's more of a creamy sauce than a light sauce with capers in it. And she put it in, in, a, in a shallow pan in the oven where just a little bit of that lemon and butter and, and capers in there. Um, and then did it with just the broiler because flounder cooks real fast. So doing it with the broiler, she had like maybe five minutes with the broiler on high, got everything bubbling and, and, and working together. Um, and then she made a mushroom risotto in the crock pot. Now I have no clue how to make risotto. I can make rice, but that risotto was bomb. It was amazing with that flounder. Put that risotto down on the plate, the flounder over it, and then we grilled some asparagus on the grill. It was amazing. There you have it. That's the that's that's my new favorite way to do it besides fried or, or baked or any way like that. All right. Hey, now, now show us Risotto. how to clean one of these suckers. We already he's already got a few in there, but he uh Travis, he can clean a flounder, huh? Oh he's good. He's really okay. good. Start on the bottom side is what I do. Come down and you gotta rock your knife over the backbone. Same way I've done it for 20 years. So you're not quitting now. You can see I'm right down on the bone there. Nothing, nothing left to it. Maybe just a little bit on the edge of the backbone. But scan off. Cut the rib cage out. Pull the fringe meat. No bones. No skin. Perfect. Flip her over. The top side's a little more tricky, but there's more meat on the top. Come down. Hit a gig hole there, so it bounced off of it. Trim it, no bones in that. You can split it like that. The white strip will pull off. It has one piece like it's supposed to. See, that's like a little rubber band. When you cook it, that's perfectly edible, but I usually remove it. And there you have mm -hmm. it. <laughs> See y'all in the kitchen. Alrighty. Cooking time. Dinner time. We're all starving. So, doing, unfortunately, we left the coast and my dad vacuum sealed all the flounder and put it in the freezer and I completely forgot about it. So I went crappie fishing today. We're gonna use crappie for this recipe. I think it'll be just as good, except for I think flounder is just a little bit better than crappie, but it'll put this recipe to the test. Rick sent me this recipe. I'll leave it in the description box below. We got some 
rice over here cooking in bone broth, chicken in kettle and fire bone broth. Uh, one cup of rice, two cups of broth, and then we're gonna add mushrooms and stuff in there later, but I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with the fish. So, Rex is gonna get mad at me because I'm not, I'm taking a few shortcuts, not melting down this butter, but we're gonna grease the bottom of our pan. And then we're gonna line our pan with fillets. Just however you can fit them in there. They're big today. Fish? Fish. You want some? Yeah. Remember you helped me clean them? Yeah. So we got our fish in there. Now we're gonna take some lemon, some critter glitter, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Dust it off with that lemon pepper. You got the oven set to 350 and we're gonna put them in there for about uh, five minutes and then we'll broil them for about two or three minutes. So dust them with a little critter glitter, just like that. Now we'll take our lemon. Place this in there. All those juices will come out. You don't have to squeeze it. You can if you want to. Just like that, that metal butter will melt down in there. We'll throw these in. We throw those in, let those cook, and then I'll start prepping the stuff that goes in the rice. All right, so the rice is cooking. I got some butter in a saucepan. Cut up a bunch of baby bella mushrooms and a garlic clove. You can put onion in here as well, um, or a shallot according to Rick's recipe, so do whatever you like. This is what we're doing right now, because I don't have an onion. But mushrooms, garlic, and butter, can't go wrong with that. So I'll saute all this down, and then once that rice gets done, we'll add it all to one big saucepan, mix it up, and give it a little nice cook. As we're taking our rice that was cooked in chicken broth over here in this saucepan. And we're adding our mushrooms and garlic that was sauteed in butter. Just like that. I'm gonna cook this up a little bit on here. Supposed to deglaze it with a little white wine again out of white fresh out of white wine around here so this looks delicious so you know, can you pray for us Eat good. All right. Let's see what it tastes like. Ryder, take a bite. Let's try this rice. There's a lot of steps that Rick's wife is like a chef, and I didn't take those steps, but we're going to see what it tastes like. The rice is delicious. And the fish is delicious. Give this a solid, like, Eight, seven, beautiful, nice, crappie dinner, flounder dinner. Delicious. You guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna go flounder gigging down in the Texas coast, I'll leave Rick's uh, info below. Y'all go check him out. Uh, text him, call him, he'll answer any questions you have, and uh, it's a great time. So, and you get amazing meat if you don't leave it in the freezer down there. So, uh, y'all stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.